Hey guys, let's quickly cover how you can run A-B tests with Stellar. After you install our snippet, you are already able to start creating experiments. And we've got two types of experiments, A-B experiments and split URL experiments. Let's focus on this first category of experiments. We start by providing the URL where the experiment will be targeted. This could be the home page, like in our current example, or you could also use any sort of landing page. You could also tap into advanced URL rules where you target based on certain patterns in the URL or exclude specific URLs, very similar to how you would set up rules in Google Tag Manager. Let's stick with the static homepage URL. We can confirm our URL and we get some additional targeting criteria like based on device type, country and visitor type, either whether it is a returning or a new visitor. We won't be doing any of that fine tuning for this example. We are already able to start creating and editing our variants. You can make changes to your variant based on global CSS or JavaScript changes or the most common option through our visual editor. So since you installed our snippet, we give you this interactive visual editor inside of your website. This allows you to make copy changes, style changes. Usually landing pages yield an interesting amount of conversion rate improvements through tweaks of basic elements like copies of an H1. So let's go with that for our example. We can generate text variants with AI. This can give us some easy accessible alternatives to what we have. Or you can also, of course, type out your own, right? You can use AI to perform changes. I might say, give this button a more engaging look and feel or animation. Let's make it scale up and down. <laughs> Let's see what it comes up with. Keep changes. So you can see it gives us a hover effect. You can be more specific. Um, we can say, for example, let's make this, make this nav bar have a nice subtle light blue gradient background. And there we go. You get the idea. Now let's save and finish. Okay. What else? We can modify our traffic. I will go with 99 to one, just so that as I demo, I am sure I get picked for the experiment. We need to set up our conversion. I have a bunch already created, but let's see how you can set up a conversion yourself. You can do it based on clicks by providing a query selector yourself. For example, ID of button. Supposing that's the ID of the button, right? You can manually select the element for people who don't even know what a query selector is. You can set up a conversion based on page visits. You can do it based on uh, triggering a custom JS snippet we give you. For my example, I'm going to provide, uh, well, let me show you how you can do it selecting manually. So I will copy this URL. I will set up a conversion, create a new one. I will choose the manual select option. Here I need to tell the software where the element lives. Let's go there. And now I can select the element. It's that easy. So I will select this element, confirm selection. So there we go, we have our untitled conversion. I'm going to call it CTA clicks, update conversion. Now we are ready to launch. Let's launch our experiment and see what happens. Our experiment is live. Now, if I head to my website, I can expect to see the changes. You can see we got no flicker and the change is rendered. Everything is there. Let's see that load time again. It's pretty sick. Now, what can you expect to see with an experiment that has more data? Let me show you. Here we've got an example. This experiment has already a couple thousand unique visitors. You can see how we break down the variant performance. You are allowed to set up more than one conversion and you can toggle between each of them, making your own readings on um, how you will deem or how you will judge the success of the experiment. And I start a straightforward statistical confidence indicator and some extra data like AI recommendations once we've got, you've got a, enough flow of conversions set up incoming. That's pretty much it. Um, 
yeah, reach out to support or write us an email if you've got any doubts.